Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed a BoxyCharm unboxing that was also a try-on style. So obviously that's what we are going to be doing today. I have in front of me my March 2020 BoxyCharm box. Now obviously as you can tell, this is quite a large box, larger than what I am used to. This is the base box. This is not premium. This is not Boxy Lux. I do not subscribe to those. So that's what we are going to be taking a look at today. I'm just gonna go ahead and unload everything, share with you guys what I got, and then if you want to stick around, we will go ahead and do the try-on portion as well. There will be timestamps in the description box below letting you know when you can find certain things in the video if you do want to skip ahead and just see certain items or a certain try-on. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Let's see what I got in my BoxyCharm for the month of March. All right, so I have my little card out already. This month, this month, this month's theme, why can't I say that, is pretty edgy. I did get mine in the variation of number 26. I have commented on this before because I've gotten comments from you guys in my other BoxyCharm unboxing saying that you're kind of overwhelmed by all the different variations. Some people have actually said they're kind of sick of having so many different variations, but I think it's great and it's definitely really great for us content creators because we can make unboxings and you guys aren't going to get sick of watching them because everyone's getting something somewhat different, which I think is nice and it does amp up the mystery side of it a bit. So I kind of like all the different variations, just my two cents on that. So we're gonna go ahead and just open this box. I'm going to grab the first thing here, which is the mini ceramic curling iron with a cool tip. This is from Sutra Beauty. Now this was one of the options. I don't remember what else you could pick for your box, but I did opt for the curling iron because I aspire to do more with my hair. Some of you that have been watching me for a long time are probably like, yeah, right. You're just gonna wear your hair up, which is probably true, but nonetheless, hey, if I don't end up using this, then I can go ahead and pass it on to a friend, family member, or pop it into a giveaway, someone who would be interested in this. But this is what this little mini curling iron looks like. It just simply has an on-off switch. It says, style your hair like a professional with this mini ceramic curling iron. The compact design is safe for all hair types and has a max temperature of 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Create gorgeous curls with ease and keep hair healthy with even heat distribution and adjustable temperature controls. I don't see any adjustable temperature controls on this. I only see an on off switch. So I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Like I said, there is literally no temperature control on this whatsoever. I do have to say that if you have longer hair, it might be kind of a pain in the ass to use something like this because the curling space, you get about this much. So just a heads up on that. It says that this retails for 50 bucks. Either way, I like stuff like this. I think it's pretty cool, which is obviously why I chose to have it in my box. Let's move on to the next item. Oh, and we have an eyeshadow palette. Now, I'm actually happy that I got this palette. I've seen that there were several other different options in this box and I'm glad that I got this one. I have seen sneak peeks. This is the Hello Charmer palette. So this is an exclusive. Features a blend of 12 matte and shimmery shades made specifically with our charmers in mind. It says these highly pigmented colors deliver maximum payoff while providing smooth textures for a transitional day to night look. This would retail for $39 if it were to be sold. But I think these colors are gorgeous. Look at this one down here. Swipe up. Hoping you guys can kind of see the glitter in that. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. I think that this palette is beautiful. This is a gorgeous collection of shades. It's very true. There are some very easy, minimal daytime looks. You can amp this up, smoke it out. There's deeper tones in here as well. And then obviously the bright, fun, colorful shades in here. These shades, all of these right here, this just looks absolutely beautiful. So I cannot wait to get this on the eyes. Let's just go ahead and do a couple of swatches. Let's check out Charmer. I wanna do full size and then let's take a look at Swipe Up. So this is like a pressed glitter. Focus camera, there you guys see that. Look at the pigmentation. Hello, yes. That's why it's called the Hello Charmer palette. It is saying hello, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Let's try this guy. Woo! Pigmentation is real. And then let's try that pressed glitter. Wow, 
All right then. I'm pretty impressed. I do actually wanna go ahead and swatch a couple of the mattes. So I'm going to take, wipe off my hand on my pants because that's what I always do when I'm filming. Let's check out unboxing Cup of Joe and then let's do spoiler right here. I always like to show you guys what the shadows look like on my fingers just so you can kind of get an idea of that. All right, let's put these right here. Love that type of shade, perfect transition shade. So that's pretty nice. I mean, they swatch really well. These colors look beautiful, very wearable, lots of different options. So I am excited to eventually dip into that. The next item is from Spongel. This is a body wash infused buffer. Now, if you guys watch Kiki Chanel or Kylie Dennison, I don't know if you've ever checked out her channel. She does amazing, like amazing anti MLM videos. Fantastic. I love them. I am obsessed, but she always rants and raves about these Spongel buffers. So I am super excited. I've always wanted to try one. I think it's really cool. It says it cleanses, exfoliates, hydrates, and massages. So you kind of just place the sponge underwater, squeeze it to get everything absorbed, and then massage in circular motions to cleanse the skin. And then you just squeeze out the excess water after each use. So I don't know how long each one of these sponges lasts. Doesn't really say, but it says that it is suitable for all skin types. It is vegan, paraben free, 100%. It is a patented delivery system, good for 24 months, and it is cruelty free. It's actually made in the United States. It says in Los Angeles. So yeah, looking at the ingredients, it looks pretty good. Oh my God, this smells like something. I can't stick my finger on it. This is in the scent French Lavender. Usually I don't like that type of scent, but oh my God, this smells amazing. So it is packaged up in plastic, but just to kind of show you guys what this looks like, this guy retails for $16. Oh, it smells so good. It just reminds me of something from my childhood. Like I swear I had like a body spray or something from Bath and Body Works, something like Walmart. God, what were those body mists called? I can't think of it, but if I remember, I'm gonna pop it somewhere on the screen because that definitely reminds me of that. All right, moving on to the next item. I have something from Becca. This is a glow gloss. It says, illuminate your lips with a luxe conditioning lip color that combines the shine of a gloss and nourishing benefits of a balm. 3D light reflecting pigment ingredients instantly make lips look fuller and smoother. Retails for $22. I have mine in the shade Dahlia. Now this isn't a color that I would typically reach for, especially for a gloss. I don't know what it is. Glosses that come in like a deeper shade tend to freak me out. I just picture it kind of getting like messy and moving all over the face, which I know isn't totally true. I've actually worn black lip glosses before and they do stay in place if the formula is good. But yeah, it has like a minty scent. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little swatch. I mean, it is a very, very pretty shade. So we might have to go ahead and try that out. I'm a little on the fence about it. I mean, it is pretty, like I said, it's just not something that I would typically reach for. I think that's kind of everyone's beef when it comes to subscription boxes is when you find out there's gonna be a lip product in there and you're just like, oh my God, oh my God, please, please, please give me the nude, give me something wearable. If it's gonna be a color, just give me the nice blue red that's like that perfect red. Don't give me anything in between, you're just kind of like hoping and wishing and praying <laughs> that you don't get that off bright, crazy or super duper extra vampy look that you just would never go for. So it's not bad. I mean, I think it's pretty, like I said, just not something that I would typically reach for. There is one more item in this box and this is from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is a Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter. This retails for 25 bucks. It says, illuminate your complexion with a dose of ethereal glow. Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter lights up your best features with an ultra fine pearlescent fluid formula. I have a hair on my mouth. No idea where that randomly came from. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, perfect for soft everyday radiance. This creamy yet weightless formula is super versatile and buildable. I don't know if everyone got the same shade, but I got mine in the shade Gold School, which I think I'm going to like this because I love anything gold. This is what the packaging looks like here. So it looks like it's one of these twist top deals. So it's kind of got this little doe foot, soft, spongy like applicator on the end. Oh. That is quite gold. It looks like shit on my hand because my hand is super dry, but that's actually really pretty. If you're going for like a very simple look, you could just sweep this over the eyes. Look at the glitter in that. It's very fine. It's definitely not chunky, but it's very, very, very reflective. So now that we have unboxed everything, the total value of this box, let me go ahead and have my iPhone here do some quick math because 
your girl, math is not her strong suit. So let's whip out the old calculator. So the total value of this month's box is $152. Not too shabby because it costs like, what, 22, 23, 25? I don't even remember how much BoxyCharm costs these days. I miss when it costs like 20 bucks. Obviously, things go up in price. BoxyCharm has been around for a minute now at this point. It's obviously going to happen with the type of products that they're gonna wanna provide to us, the demand. You guys get the drift. Let's go ahead and jump into the try-on portion of this video. I am really excited to get this highlighter on the face. That's pretty much the first thing I want to do. So let's do that first. I don't know if I'm just going to go ahead and straight up take this applicator to the face. I don't know about that. It just feels like even with one little twist, I feel like there's quite a bit of product that comes out of this. And as you can see, this can get pretty intense. So I think I'm just gonna start by putting the excess on the back of my hand and then going in and kind of dabbing this on. Typically glittery highlights like this are not my thing. And so far, this is definitely not something that I would go for. I don't really like this. It ends up looking a little bit chunky. Maybe you do need to put a lot more on. Let's try just slapping a crap ton of it on. Let's see what happens. Otherwise I could be in trouble and this could look like a total train wreck. Yeah, this is not a cute look. Way too chunky. It just looks like I have random glitter all over my face. No, that's not cute. That's not my thing. Not for me at all. I don't even know if I want to bother. Well, let's just do it. I was like, I don't know if I want to bother putting it on the other side of my face, but now I kind of got to make things even. So, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. So much no, it is not my deal. I need to do a makeup wipe. I'll be right back. All right, so in my bathroom, this highlight actually looks kind of pretty on the face, but in this studio lighting that I have going on right here with the ring light and my umbrella lights, this is, I don't know. It's just a tragedy. I keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm trying to see how I feel about this. I don't know. Maybe it'll get better as it sits on the skin. Let's go ahead and move on to the second to last item that is try onable in this. Let's just dip into this Hello Charmer palette because girl, how pretty is this? I have no idea what type of a look I'm even going to create at this point. We're just going to jump into it and go with it and see where we land. I did prime my lids with some of the CoverGirl, some sort of CoverGirl shadow primer that I found in my vanity here. I'm going to start off with using the shade Premium right here and just getting that all over the lid. It's kind of just like a base transition, something to lay down. I'm just going to take this giant alter ego brush and just get this all over the lid. I do have to say, I like how large the pans are. These are very large pan sizes for a shadow, and I think that that's kind of cool. Now that we have that down, I'm gonna take Cup of Joe using this Sonia G brush. This is the Crease 2 brush. And I'm just gonna get that all up in the crease and on the outer edge. So I think I know what shade I'm gonna wanna go for here. A little bit goes a very long way. These shadows are very pigmented, at least this shade is anyways. Very nice mid-tone neutral brown shade. I don't know how I'm feeling about this primer I have on my eyes. It feels a little bit sticky and I feel like it might be grabbing the shadows. They're still blending, which is something to say considering if a primer is not very good, sometimes it can mess up your entire eye look, but the shadows seem to be trying their best to work on top of it. Still trying to figure out how I feel about this highlighter, you guys. Yeah, I'm still on that. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip into the shade right here unboxing. I'm gonna do a halo eye. I haven't done something like this in a really long time. I'm just gonna pack that on the outer edge using this brush that I think I got in Ipsy. I used this brush in the last video that I did. This is an LR110 shadow brush. I cannot remember for the life of me what the name of the brand is for this brush. I need to go back and look because I really like them. They're like really good solid synthetic brushes. I feel like I'm looking a little bit like a hot vest, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to trust the process as they say. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this guy right here, this gorgeous glitter shade in Swipe Up. Now when I work with glitters, I like to kind of press them on my hand somewhere to kind of flatten everything out and get rid of the excess so I don't end up with a crap ton of fallout. And I'm just gonna focus on pressing that right into the center of the lid only. If we have to, then we'll go back in and deepen everything up on the outer corners. And on the inner corner, since this is a halo. I actually really like how this glitter is going onto the lid. This is transferring quite nicely. 
I don't feel like I'm going to need to dip back in much to gather or really build this up. And I like that it's staying in place. It's not dropping down my face at all. It's really it's such a cool color. I really like it. Let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line. I think I'm just going to drag that same color unboxing right here along the lower lash line. I'm not even going to pick up any more product. I'm just going to use whatever excess I had. And that seemed to work perfectly. In our corner, we are going to slap some of this shade right here, pop up, which looks like the most beautiful, just champagne, super reflective type shade. Obviously pop that on the inner corner here, as well as on the brow bone. That is a gorgeous shade. Now this kind of happened on accident because now I feel like the lip color that I got might actually jive pretty well with this eye look. So let's dip into this Becca Gloss in the shade Dahlia, hoping that it works well. Maybe not, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> it does go on really nicely. Actually, no, okay. Do you see that? It's bunching up in the corner of my mouth. First swipe, I was like, girl, yes, this is going on beautifully, but I'm getting that weird thing where some of the color wants to kind of like bunch up on my lips and somehow I've just gotten some of it on my nose. This is a train wreck. Whatever, now my makeup is rubbing off my nose, but whatever. Not really a fan. It's just already wanting to bunch up right over here. It's separating already. Shoot, on that bottom lip when I swiped it, I thought it was going to be really, really nice. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and I'll be right back with my final thoughts on the March 2020 BoxyCharm box. All right, you guys, so there you have it. This is the completed look. Now I do want to comment first on the KVD Vegan Beauty, this gold highlighter, gold school highlighter, illuminator, whatever the hell it's called. The more that it's kind of warmed up on my skin, the more that I actually like it. When I put it on at first, I was like, Ugh, girl, no, this looks so chunky. It almost reminded me of the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost formula, which is pretty much the only product from Jeffree that I really cannot stand. I cannot stand the way that that looks on my skin. And I was kind of getting that vibe at first, but now that I've actually warmed up, it looks really kind of nice. It is pretty. It's a different type of look. It is glittery. It is not going to be more of like a metallic finish, as I keep mentioning, but the more that it warms up to my skin, it actually looks kind of pretty. I don't hate it. I do want to keep playing with it just to kind of see how it works. I feel like even on like a no makeup makeup day, this might look actually really pretty on the skin. If you do enjoy that type of a look, it could be worse. I did kind of go crazy with it. It's like strobed on my cheek, but I didn't know how the product performed. So there you have it. I don't think that that is too bad. I was about to be really bummed about getting that item, but eh. It could have been worse. The Becca Glow Gloss, not my favorite. The color wants to bunch. I think it might just be the shade. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know if you got the same product in your box, but a different color, and let me know what you thought about it. I do think that the color is pretty once I have it on the lips, but again, not something that I would typically reach for. And yeah, it's just kind of bunching and kind of bleeding into the corners of the mouth. So, nah, not really a fan of that. The eyeshadow palette, this is beautiful. I absolutely loved how the shadows that I used performed on the eyes, they blended with ease. Even though I thought that the primer that I chose is going to be quite tricky, I am a huge fan of the eye look that I created. I think it's really pretty. That pressed glitter in there, the shade Swipe Up is so unique and gorgeous. It's like pinky with like green, reflex. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to keep playing with this palette. I am super stoked about that. The Spongel French Lavender Body Washed Infused Buffer. Really excited to try this. Obviously I can't really tell you what I think about it yet because I haven't tried it but the scent is fantastic. Last but not least the Sutra Beauty Curling Iron. Again I'll have to try it out and keep you guys posted and let you know what I think. I just find it odd that in the description I don't even know what happened. Oh to it. Here it is. The little card here that I got says it has adjustable temperature controls, but it doesn't. It just has an on off switch. So I'm a little bit confused by that. But overall, I do have to say I enjoy the box that I got. The only thing I'm not super really stoked on, like I said, is this lip product right here. So everything else seems to be usable, wearable. I'm totally into it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you got in your box this month. What disappointed you? What did you love? Did you hate everything? Did you love everything? I just love to hear from you guys. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Of course, please share it with your friends and family if you did enjoy the content. That helps me out so, so much. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button 
and the bell button, which I like to call the second subscribe button because YouTube is stupid and they make people subscribe twice to channels. So if you want notifications for my videos, hit that bell button and you'll get notified when I upload. I love you guys so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys. And last but not least. Yeah just hit myself in the eye with this curling iron. That didn't feel good. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to today's video. I have, okay, that was really lame. That was like someone trying to be cool. That's just really not cool. I did get a comment from a subscriber yesterday that asked me if I had gotten any of my boxy or Ipsy charms. Ipsy charms? What the hell is an Ipsy charm? I hate these baby hairs that hang down in the back. They never want to stay up. That features a blend, a blend, a, 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 I can never talk. It's just a fail every single freaking time. I really need to start including bloopers in my videos because you guys would be amazed at how many takes I make. All right, let's try this again.